Hello and welcome back to Spotlight. Today I'm shedding a light on a game called Hammer Fight. If you know, you know, honestly, this game it was either an obsession or you've never heard of it. It's a game that I think more people should know about. Why? I'm not sure, to be honest, because it doesn't run particularly well. It's never going to get a remake. It's never going to get a sequel. But I still, I still love this game and I want to share it with you. Chapter one, a bunch of stuff happened. Found you a suitable opponent. An opponent for what you may ask? Well, this is a, a world of combat. So, um, if you saw my Let's Try of Skull Chains, you may have heard me mention this game. And now maybe you understand why, but it's a game where we swing a giant ball and do a lot of damage. However, the fun does not really stop there. This game includes a, almost like a Monster Hunter-esque mission mode where you have to go and like hunt down creatures to get certain components to upgrade your weaponry so the game in the end at the end of the day ends up having a little bit more depth than just swing your hammer and and whoever swings harder wins although that is also kind of true i won't lie this game's kind of janky and i kind of love it for that we're fighting worms this time you can see why the game wants to calibrate you for a lower DPI. Game, the, the weapon has weight, and if you have higher DPI, you just straight up have more strength. When the demo came out for this game, it wasn't for like a good two years maybe after the, the demo released that this game actually came out. So I would just like periodically play the demo. It just didn't really have a lot on offer. It had maybe like the first five or six missions. And it was one of those timed demos where you could only play like 10 minutes of the game. And I would just like keep replaying that demo because I was so, I don't know, fascinated by the, the momentum and movement of this game. It just felt so alive. Uh, I'm currently playing it in a little key window here. I can't even get it to, to play in full screen mode. So they've given me a sword. Sword works better for fleshy creatures. Hammers are maybe better for vehicles. I love to make like a giant hammer and like put light, like lightning stones in it and stuff. Love, love that slow-mo bullet time. Doesn't really serve much purpose other than looking cool. Oh my god. Oh my god. My dude. There's so many of them. <gasps> This guy's got armor we're having to deal with. Ooh, there we go. Ooh. I can also grab their arm, their weapon. Some weapons are more effective at doing certain things like breaking armor, for example. I love collecting the weapons in this. It's almost like it kind of gives me that Castle Crasher vibes where it's like, I don't care if some of these weapons are bad. I just want to add them to my collection. He's got a lot of armor. But it doesn't matter because we have a giant weapon here. Oh yeah, there's also guns in this game. I actually completely forgot about that. That guy's got a gun blade, actually though. So there's a couple of different modes. Arena mode really is just kind of like fight stuff and you get some extra money if you want to, you know, spend some time uh, collecting some of the other weapons. Goodbye Imperial Armor. Let's buy a few of those. We can hold down the mouse button to put our armor up. And when you have enough armor, you just basically don't take any damage ever again. <laughs> have you played Hammer Fight? Let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time.